right, now let's jump into 15.2. 15.2, we're talking about trigonometric functions with or of non-acute angles. So we only used acute angles in 15.1. So it had to be between 0 and 90 degrees. If it was greater than 90 degrees, well, we didn't use it. So one thing that we need to use are reference angles. Reference angles are very helpful. It is a positive acute angle between the terminal side of an angle and the x-axis, denoted by theta prime. So whenever we see that little apostrophe, uh, it really usually will we'll just say prime. Okay, now we see one slight mistake that should be prime. So if I have an angle in the first quadrant, well, we need a positive acute angle between the terminal side. So remember, terminal side and the x-axis. So here's my x-axis. There's the terminal side. Okay, well, that's positive. So theta and theta prime are exactly the same in this situation. So sometimes theta and theta prime are the exact same angle. And that's if it's in the first quadrant. All right here, notice it is in the second quadrant. So theta goes past the y axis, so it's gonna be more than 90 degrees, but it's gonna be less than 180 degrees. And so theta prime will be between that terminal side and the x axis. So notice that these two angles together are supplementary, meaning they add up to 180 degrees. So if it's in the second quadrant, those two angles are supplementary, but theta prime is the uh, reference angle. Uh, if it is in the third quadrant, notice it goes all the way around more than 180 degrees but less than 270 degrees and we get to the third quadrant. So our theta prime starts at the x-axis and goes to our terminal side. So notice it's 180 degrees plus our reference angle. So in the third quadrant our reference angle really is our original angle minus 180 degrees. Okay, now uh, fourth quadrant. Okay, we go past 270 degrees and then a little bit further there, but not quite to 360 because that would be the same as a zero degree angle. So between 270 degrees and 360 degrees, we're in the fourth quadrant, so our theta prime is what we need to add to 360 degrees. So what do I have to add to this to get to 360 degrees? So let's go back through them once again. In quadrant one, they are the same angle. Quadrant two, theta and theta prime, or our reference angle, is supplementary to our original angle. Uh, quadrant three, well, our theta prime is basically 180 degrees less, because I take this 180 degrees off that original angle than the original angle if it's in quadrant three. And in quadrant four, it's what I need to get to 360 degrees. So whatever this angle is, what do I need to add to that to get to 360 degrees? Or I could say 360 degrees minus that original angle. So keep in mind it is acute meaning this angle is always between 0 and 90. So if you use one of the things that I said and you thought well I thought it was in quadrant 3 so you took 180 from but you found out well then you get a negative number well it wasn't actually in quadrant 3. So make sure you know exactly where it is. All right so some examples. I want to find the reference angle uh, draw a picture and then find the coterminal angle if we need that. So we may need to find the coterminal angle and then that's really the original theta we're going to use as our coterminal angle. Uh, but um, we'll see if we need that. So 218 degrees. Well, that's going to start here. If I go to the y-axis, that's 90 degrees. Keep going. That's 180 degrees. If I get all the way to here, that's 270. That's not quite how far I want to go, but if I'm at 180, I still have another 
38 degrees. So 45 degrees would be halfway. This is not going to be quite halfway. All right, so I'm going to say that that is approximately 218 degrees. So there's my original angle. Okay, my reference angle. Remember, it's well, how much further than 180 did I go? So 218 degrees minus 180 degrees, oops, degrees gave us 38 degrees. So our reference angle is 38 degrees. So so reference angle for 218 degrees is 38 degrees. All right, now 1,387. Well, if I go all the way around, that's 360. So I could even kind of do a quick thing. So 360, if I keep going another time, I'm to 720. Another time, and I'm at 1080. So if I go another time, I'm going to pass. So this is really three times around, and then I'm finding my angle. So now I wouldn't expect you to draw that all the way around, but to find my coterminal angle, which is really what we need first, is subtracting 360 degrees three times. So... Uh, 360 times 3 is 1,080. And so now we get 307 degrees. So I'm going to keep going. So 307 degrees past the 0 degrees. So there's 90, 180. Keep going, that's 270. And then... From 270, we need another 37 degrees. So once again, I'm not going to quite get to halfway. So, so really, in total, this is 1387 degrees. Or if we only focus on that, really we're focusing on 307 degrees. But what I need is that angle. So what is this angle? Well, how much further do I need to get to 360 degrees? Well, I subtract 307 from 360, and I will get 53 degrees. So, my reference angle... Fifty-three degrees.